Hi. It was splashed all over the Sunday papers. The Philip Schofield saga flashed out for the edification of the frazzled readerships. But what does it really amount to? Middle-aged man has an affair with much younger person, in this case, a male. Had it been a younger woman, it would have been such a hoo-ha. Probably not. Schofield has been accused by fellow this morning presenter Holly Willoughby of being deceitful. For Schofield and a million other men, including our dear King, Charles, having affairs by their very natures are mired in deceit. It's part of the course. What could be regarded as dodgy is the age gap, plus the fact that there's a strong hint of grooming involved. But given the amount of vitriol, angst, outrage, it hardly matches the sordid, disgusting serial behaviour of the likes of Jimmy Savile now, does it? The other aspect of the Schofield affair, something that would justifiably raise eyebrows, is the power relationship involved. This is really a case of yet another dollop of titillation for the hypocritical, zombified, gutter media consumers. We all knew that some sort of Schofield affair would be splattered all over the place, but this, quite honestly, who really gives a Donald Duck? We live in a swamp of triviality, hiding the real big issues, which have life-shattering impacts on all of us. Yet we're constantly fed idiotic stories about footballers off-pitch misbehaviour, celebrities on a conveyor belt of irrelevance. The real scandal is that we're still existing within and subjected to a decaying, decadent, feudal capitalist system that's well past its sell-by date, and that we're accepting this without class struggle or any kind of resistance except meaningless passive protest. We've got to awake from our drip-fed media slumber and get out there and revolt. Bye.